Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 42. Mm. Uh, I'm Mike and this is... Christine, hi. And we have a special guest here today. Don't really know what his name is, he just kind of... He kind of showed up. Yeah, he, he looks dead tired. Mm -hmm. But he's cool. So, he's cool, uh, dude. just want to share a couple of things with you. Uh, Christine and I had a UFO sighting. Mm -hmm. And when I say UFO, something unidentified in the sky. Three days ago, we're right here at our house. Mm -hmm. uh, we're outside shooting our bows and arrows. And I look up and I see a white speck in the sky. And it's just a tiny little white spot. Mm -hmm. And it was slowly moving. And once we, you know, start focusing in and looking at it, uh, more and more of them started to appear. Mm -hmm. And altogether it was five or six. I and think we counted four and then the fifth one showed up. These things, some of them would blink out and then reappear over here. Yeah. A pretty good portion of the sky. And there was a fairly large uh, thunderhead on one side, really tall, and some little smaller clouds around. And it was definitely way above the clouds because it would disappear behind the clouds. And in general, the whole thing was kind of moving easterly. Mm -hmm. Except for two of them, they were going the opposite direction. They were going sideways. They would also just do 90s, 90 degree turns. Mm -hmm. uh, really tiny little white specks. I tried capturing them on my cell phone. And I went to full zoom, and I got a good phone. But when you go to full zoom, any movement, you know, any kind of shake will just magnify it a million times on your phone. You can't really see anything that small at that distance either. It's just... It's I do have them on my respect. phone, and I'll try to maybe post post the pictures that I did capture at the end of this video. It's the white little round specks mm -hmm. way, way up in the sky doing some really weird stuff. That was kind of cool. Yeah, it was very cool. I've seen videos of those things from so many different people, and you see them on YouTube all the time, and I've never personally seen it. Now I can chalk that one off like... Chick, chick. That was a pretty cool one. Got it. Uh, we want to do shout-outs, as usual, to some of our followers. Oh, before, before we do that, uh, as of the filming today, today's October 1st. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's the drawing for the one on silver we're giving away. It is completely independently done. We have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to go to this link. Uh, so there's no favoritism. It's uh, basically you go to this link, you enter your email address. There's other things you can do, and the more you know, like if you subscribe to this channel, you get an extra drawing, uh, an extra chance. There's some people that have 15 chances on there. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow. But it's a random generator, and whoever gets drawn will announce, I think, on the sixth. And you can remain completely confidential if that's the way you want it to be. And uh, I will email you. And you can email me back your address and we'll ship that sucker off. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be mentioned as the winner, we won't mention you as the winner. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. and again, it's completely out of our control. We have no choice in who the winner is. Yep. I've come to the conclusion that there's a lot of closet watchers, I call them. There's a lot of people that like watching the show, but mm -hmm. they don't want to tell their buddies. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about getting your name out there, hey, don't worry about it. We got you. We got you covered. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you secret. He's got you. <laughs> Bones. And anyway, um, shout outs go to, as usual, Larry Lawson, and I want to congratulate him on his new radio show. Uh, it's, a, it's an awesome show. His first show came out Wednesday, mm -hmm. and it's uh, WPSL 1590 in Florida. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, his first guest on the show, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty good show. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. And I think he airs every Wednesday now, and our time will be 9 o'clock. Uh, mountain time, mm -hmm. uh, 9 a.m. Mountain time every Wednesday. Good show to listen to and interesting guests. I'm sure he's going to have a lot of good guests on there. So looking forward to many more. Wish him a lot of luck on that show. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, shout outs go to our friend across the pond on the other side of the ocean, uh, Chris Huff, mm -hmm. our outstanding man. Love his videos. He, he puts out a ton of YouTube videos yeah. that are very uh, informative. Some are paranormal, some are just historical. All in all, you know, England has just got a ton of weird crap and just a ton of good history. I mean, if you like that kind of stuff, if you're not into the paranormal, but love old history, mm -hmm. old castles, things of such, uh, Roman forts, that kind of stuff, that's the channel you want to check out. Support him, subscribe to him. Same with our channel. 
we cannot break the 370 barrier. I don't know what's going on. We get up to 370 and then people unsubscribe or get kicked off and then we go up and down, up and down. Help us get past 370 for God's sake. Somebody <laughs> just grab your kid's phone and subscribe if you're watching through your kid's phone. Please end our curse, end Do our misery. Do something to make us get over 370, jeez. <laughs> we can't take it anymore. <laughs> we're getting desperate. <laughs> we're already giving away money. I mean, we're giving away silver. I mean, where else can you get a chunk of silver for absolutely doing nothing except for clicking on a link, you know, it's, I get it, it's an ounce of silver, but it's 25 bucks. It's still 25 bucks. You can take that go. coin and go into any silver store right now, mm -hmm. and whatever market value is, that's what you get, and I think it's $23 an ounce right now. Hey, it may be worth $50 an ounce next month or next year, mm -hmm. it may go up and we'll go, it's like having a stock. That's, that's why we collect silver, and we love silver. We really do. Silver is awesome. So anyway, our friend, our unnamed friend, mm -hmm. brought us something to drink today, and yes. it's somewhat disappointing, but somewhat exhilarating no, too. He tried his best. Instead of a beer challenge, he brought me a uh, a monster. Yeah, he made me a fresh cup of coffee. <gasps> monster Zero Ultra. And I think he's got ultimate plans because we're having a little get together tomorrow, and uh, I think he's trying to hoard all the delicious beer. That sounds like him for that day, because that's how he is. Mm -hmm. yeah, he pretty much survives on a diet of alcohol. I'm pretty sure he's German. And he himself is drinking this lovely Pepsi Zero Sugar because he's got to wash his weight. He really needs to start like, you know, cutting back on the dieting, put a little meat on his bone. Uh, yeah, but you know how he is. Yeah, he, he talks a lot of crap. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's look. <laughs> can't lie, I've tried these before and they're not bad. We try not to drink too many energy drinks around here. At least I don't, um, maybe one a week. So let's enjoy this one, let's see. I think if you're gonna drink an energy drink, Monster, hashtag not sponsored, <laughs> sponsored uh, it's a pretty good energy drink because it's got zero calories and mm. eh, it tastes all right. Mm. Yeah, I don't drink any kind of sodas. I don't drink Cokes or Sprites or any of that stuff. I personally don't drink energy drinks at all. That's just me, that's him. I pretty much survive on water and on the occasional beer. So this monster is delicious. So today we're gonna talk about our five favorite scary movies. Mm. I know, weird topic, but it's October 1st, Halloween's coming, and we're gonna whip out some more videos, and the scariest movies is, is a good one. And uh, This is a tough one, it's a very tough one. Being since there's a million of them out there, mm -hmm. You know, feel free to comment at the, uh, on the, feel free to comment on this video and tell us what your scariest movie is. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's here's my number one top favorite scary movie to watch. Just okay. kick back, watch on a rainy day, and Any it's gonna sound it. cheesy and corny. Children of the Corn. Children of the yeah. Corn. There's actually like six or seven of them. I think it's thirteen at this point. But just the first, first Children of the Corn. Love it. You can't go wrong with it. It's just a good movie. It's, it's a classic, good, scary movie. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, a favorite of mine, and it's not, you know, this is my list. I mean, there's a million, like I said, out there, and you probably have a different list yourself. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite scary movie? Honestly, I don't really have a favorite scary movie. I always think of paranormal activity when I think of scary movies. Like the very first one that came out, That's that was good. a genuinely good scary movie. That's good. Mm -hmm. Number two, Jeepers Creepers. I agree with him. That's a very good movie. The first one. The second one, not so much. The first one, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It's awesome. And we don't talk about the third one at all. No. Then, then, then number three, I've always enjoyed the original Amityville Horror. Even the remake of the Amityville Horror mm -hmm. is a very, very good movie. Even though most of that stuff, you know, it's been proven to be fake because they say it's based on a real story, but maybe something, mm -hmm. not much. And people always say, well, it's just a movie. Exactly, it's just a movie. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be for entertainment. It's very it's entertaining, I like it. Mm -hmm. Amityville is pretty good. Then, I remember watching this when I was just a wee one, mm -hmm. The Exorcist. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. It's a little drawn out, a little dated, but it still holds its own. You it's watch, a good you movie. Watch The Exorcist, it's, especially if you get the, the uncut version. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, for the theater release they took out, but if you get the uncut version, oh my God. It's pretty drastic. Mm -hmm. um, Poltergeist. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. The first one. Uh, with Tan <laughs> yeah, Tangia or whatever her name is. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was pretty good. And then there's, of course, Insidious. Mm -hmm. And there's Parent. Oh, um, let's see, there was, there's just a. No, I can't even think of them all. There's uh, just too many of them. Halloween. 
Oh, oh, one's a good one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, we boy. recently watched The Hills Have Eyes, which was pretty decent. The, it was a remake, and it was actually pretty good. Um, like I said, there's a ton out there. There's, those are probably five top favorites of mine. I'm sure I'm forgetting some, but let us know uh, what yours are. Mm -hmm. um, there's always new ones coming out. Hey. Uh, of course, my all-time favorite show is IDK Paranormal. Oh, absolutely. I, I sit there and watch it for hours. It's like the best ever. <laughs> Ain't that right? Shut Don't your eat. mouth! <laughs> Better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. High five. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Oh, well, you messed up his glasses. Put your glasses back on. Oh, God. Oh, golly gee. I don't know. This guy's got a real attitude problem. I think he started drinking already. Yeah, he's, his eyes look all non-bloodshot. Oh. So anyway, that's a list of some of uh, our favorite movies. Um, I'm sure there's a ton more out there. Mm -hmm. Well, no, there's a ton more out there. Um, the Halloween month, we're going to be whipping out some more videos as much as we can because somebody's leaving again. Uh, Presum presumably. <laughs> potentially. Soon. We don't know for sure yet. That's pretty certain at this point. He's in denial. Yeah, well, maybe. So thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe to these videos. Please share them on your social media. We're trying to make this channel grow. No, there's no money in it for us. We don't get paid for doing these things. We're just having mm -hmm. fun doing them. But mm -hmm. the more, the merrier. That's why we do these things. Um, like I said, sometimes I wonder why we even do these videos. Well, it's because they're fun to make. And there's quite a few people out there that like these videos. And they keep mm -hmm. saying, where's your next one? When are you doing the next one? When are you going back out on location? We're going to have to start doing that here pretty soon again. It's going to be a minute. <laughs> we have to go out and do some ghost hunting. Um, it's been kind of quiet around here. Mm -hmm. Paranormal activity, not the movie, has been kind of on a down slope, I think. I haven't, you know, with the exception of seeing the, the lights in the sky the other day. Yep. Um, also, you know what was weird? Back to the lights in the sky. Immediately following that, I had the weirdest headache right on the right rear side of my head. That lasted about five minutes. I thought it was, oh, really I thought it was because I whooped your bow, that bows and arrow. That could have been because I took a really major ass whooping in uh, mm -hmm. archery. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it, mm -hmm. but I usually don't get headaches. Uh, that was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's some really noisy approaching us. I don't know what it is. Oh my! That sounds like a truck. Wait for it. It could have been the sound of this video just being flushed down the toilet. <laughs> Wonder if it was right or left hand. Mm. Coriolis effect. Mm. Never know. Mm. Anyhow, we'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs> it looks like he's judging you. <laughs> Bye. I'm out of here. This show sucks. <laughs>